Now, I thought somebody might like to see some of the etching I used to do on these marrow bones. I got these from the butchers and then I polished them up a bit with some sandpaper and various other polishing uh, powders and things like that. So, now, this was drawn out with an ordinary pen, uh, which was one of these nib pens here, and I had some resist. I've, I've got this online somewhere, in a video, and this was um, a resist that I would have used on um, steel, you know, when I etched it with nitric acid. Now, this was drawn on with a resist. So everything that you see in white here was the dark resist, and the white of the bone was this, you see. And so when I used my silver nitrate, then I made myself with some nitric acid and dissolved some silver into it, I um, brushed this over, it only took about a couple of minutes or so uh, for it to penetrate. Then waited in the light, and this was photosensitive. It's very much like the old photography in the old days. They would use silver, and uh, it made this black you see like so now this one here was drawn some of these bones are were never really not like ivory they got a grain in them sometimes the the resist may have been penetrated into this area uh, and the bones sometimes had these nasty little dark marks in them. but this one was a slightly weaker uh, silver nitrates, so it had this beautiful sepia colour, you know, this nice colour like this, you see. And it's all drawn on freehand, there's no, there's no transferring down, it's just, this is why if you can learn to draw, uh, you can do these things, all of my etchings on guns, I went straight into them, uh, no pre-designing or transferring or anything like that. So. And this is getting the confidence in, in your pen work and uh, gradually knowing how to design. You see, there's always um, something different. Uh, most people that do scrimshaw um, use a needle and then fill in with um, a black or any other things in the old days. They used to use soot and a bit of oil or something like that. And that was like printer's ink. But that's how this works. And it gives a nice effect. Um, I've done it on knife handles and things like so. You can use um, a coloured ink. Uh, I used to use it like a quink ink. It was like an ordinary writing ink. You can get them in reds and greens, and um, anything that really stains it. You can just use ordinary, like a nitric acid or any acid that has a tendency to dissolve bone, and then um, put this as a background. I did it on knives and I, lovely blues and reds and, and things like uh, the colours like that. But you see. There, as I say, with bone, it's a bit temperamental in its way because it has a grain in it, whereas ivory doesn't. And it has a tendency sometimes to be a bit coarse in areas. And you try to draw it and it, it, it gets into the grain. So that's how it is. These, this type of work was on steel. It was done on armour in the medieval times. And on weapons. So it's nothing really new. You see, there's a, there's a bit of a mistake there. You see the the, the um, bone. 
didn't take very well. But you can draw very fine. You see, you can go very fine. You can draw very fine lines. And that, but you must, um, all the white areas, you must make sure that the resist takes uh, and covers that so that it doesn't, you know, smudge or anything. And there is one that maybe one day I'll have a go at again. Uh, you see, I've just drawn on with a pencil and it's, it's done that. You see, I've got a nice polish on this one, so I took a bit more time on it because, as I say, you gradually. I get more experience of what you want and so I, I think I took most of the grain out of this one and see it's just that it's a doggy bone it's a thing you know people get with give it to their dog sometimes they feel this now like so but these are good things to practice on even with scrimshaw you know if you can't get whalebone or ivory or anything like that and um, yeah so go down to the local butchers or pet shop Get yourself a marrow bone. And I just use these now for standing my pens and my brushes in, you see, because they've got that little thing there, so they're like a little vase. Put something in the bottom there, I keep on they keep on falling through, you see. And I've given a few of these away. But I thought I'd just like to show you this for see, yeah, there's all sorts of things you can do with scrolls. And there's a um, you know, it, it's fun. See the different colours. You don't know what they're going to come out like. You can buy this um, uh, silver nitrate. It does have a tendency, if it's too strong, to get a bloom over it, like silver. You you have to repolish it. Um, you know, because sometimes it's a bit too strong, and it uh, it has that tendency to get silver. I don't like that one. You know. So I make it just a little bit weaker. Here we go. Maybe somebody will have a try. I'd like to see it. All the best.